Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Tim Kelly. This is The Real Sports Talk. Alex Smith had one of the toughest seasons in the NFL last year. After starting off great following a career year in 2011, Alex Smith came back, started off great, and then got a concussion in which Colin Kaepernick took his place for one week, never looked back, ended up taking the 49ers nearly to winning a Super Bowl. He got them to Super Bowl 47 and is clearly the face of that that franchise for a long time to come. That left Alex Smith in a situation where he needed to move on to become a starter somewhere else, and today the 49ers finally gave him that opportunity, and I know it's been a long season for Alex Smith to just sit there and, and kind of feel like I've been one of the longest tenure guys here, I've gone through all the good things, all the bad things, and then when we're finally at the point where we're going to a Super Bowl, I'm not the one starting. That's got to be tough. Now, Colin Kaepernick proved that he's the guy there and that he's the right decision long term. So while I question it for a lot of the season, Jim Harbaugh made the correct decision to go with Colin Kaepernick. I, I just I, I believe that Alex Smith could have led that team to pretty similar places too. I think Alex Smith is a guy who took them to the NFC title game the year before, was very close to taking them to the Super Bowl had it not been for a few drop punts. So I think Alex Smith gave that franchise um, an interesting run because it certainly wasn't pretty throughout the entire time. Alex Smith really struggled for a lot of his time there, but when he finally got a guy that was committed to working with him, building a system in Jim Harbaugh, that's when we finally saw, I believe, the true Alex Smith. Now, he's traded to the Kansas City Chiefs for a second round pick, the second selection in this year's draft, as well as a conditional mid-round pick in 2014. So, all of that depends exactly on um, how well Alex Smith performs in Kansas City. And I, I gotta say, I'm not very high on this trade. I think he, he worked very well with Jim Harbaugh because Harbaugh, Harbaugh, Harbaugh knew how to make him work. He didn't have him draw back 45 and 50 times a game because he knew that wasn't him. He put him in the, in the positions to be successful. He mixed in Kendall Hunter, Frank Gore. He had a pretty solid core around him with uh, a very good offensive line, and then you look at the wide receivers they had there, Michael Crabtree, you look at the tight end, Vernon Davis, so he had a very good overall team around him, not to mention a defense that really got them stops and got him a chance to be successful. Going to Kansas City, joining Andy Reid's system, where Matt Castle is going to be cut, so he 100% will be the starter. Going to Andy Reid's system... We look at what Andy Reid did with Michael Vick. He took a running quarterback, and even in a sense with Donovan McNabb, I think Donovan McNabb's also almost a better comparison. He took two running quarterbacks, and Donovan McNabb, when he was drafted, was really a running quarterback coming out of Syracuse. He took them, and he tried to make them what they were, and that was a strict pocket quarterback. Michael Vick has always been the most successful when he's been able to run. Overall, is Michael Vick a great quarterback? No, he was not. Donovan McNabb, while he embraced the role of dropping back and being a pocket quarterback, he was most successful in his career in the early and r right up to the Super Bowl point before he started to get injuries and Andy Reid had him stay back more in the pocket. He was most successful when he was a threat to run. Alex Smith I think if Andy Reid does what he did with Michael Vick the last few years, where Michael Vick still could run, maybe not at the level that he could in Atlanta, but he still could run. If he expects Alex Smith to drop back and throw 45 to 50 times a game, he's not going to use Jamal Charles, and he's going to expect on an offensive line that will likely feature Luke Jokel, but not a ton of other pieces, that that's going to be enough to win and make Alex Smith successful, then he's sadly mistaken. And that's why I'm honestly not very high on this trade. I think that there were some other moves for the Kansas City Chiefs that would have been more successful and I, I think that if Andy Reid isn't going to change his stripes which he never did in Philadelphia and that's why he's out now he is he, he's really not going to have very good success with Alex Smith because he's not the type of guy that you can have drop back 50 times and win a game. He's not that. There's not too many of those guys out there, but if you're going to go after one, it certainly was not Alex Smith. We'll see what happens. I still like Alex Smith as a player. I'm just not sure that this is the greatest destination for him overall. Alex Smith traded to the Kansas City Chiefs for a conditional fourth round pick, or conditional mid round pick, I should say, and a second round pick. What do you guys think? Let me 
me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time.